So you're going to have a sound check outside, everything all set, you're going to be um, performing for us a little bit later on. There's some licensing issues, I think we, we annoyed some of your neighbours. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. So, They're always um, annoying them. You like to do a lot for charity, you do a lot to help out in the ways that you can. And um, coming up, you've got a bit of a festival weekend, haven't you? So, Ben, I don't know if you want to, who wants to talk first about yeah, what, so what the plans are with this? Because you've, you've booked the guests. We've booked the whole lineup. It's All Point C's next Saturday in Victoria Park. Right. And uh, who, who's on the lineup then? Who have you booked? So many acts. We've got Dermot Kennedy, who's fantastic, oh, I love Irish Dermot. artist, yeah. Yeah. He's and Sam Fender, and we've got the Vaccines, who are some old friends of ours, and Leon Bridges. Um, so it's, it's like 20 acts, it's going to be amazing. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. And so, I mean, you know, you support charities a lot. Mm. They, they, this particular one is going towards two charities. That yeah, two charities. One's called Switchback, which works with um, rehabilitating young offenders. Really cool, local, very local charity. Mm -hmm. And then the other is the Grenfell Foundation, which I'm involved in um, and have been now almost two years because the second anniversary is coming up. Um, and we actually support the Grenfell Silent March, which happens on the 14th of a month. There's a big one happening on 14th of June, obviously on the anniversary, and then an even yeah. bigger one on 14th of July. So you can follow Grenfell United or Grenfell yeah. Sign Wall for that. So, um, so yeah, we've, uh, we've we've stayed very close with the community and um, just astounded by the sort of resilience of the survivors and bereaved, and um, yeah, really honoured to, to be working with. And when you're playing your music in this way, when you're supporting charities and people and communities like that, it must give a, a very different feeling to the concerts and the music that you're doing. Yeah, we like the idea of leaving places better than we found them. You know, that's important to us. So, yeah. you know, in the old days, there were bands, we've heard stories about bands going into small towns, particularly, and taking a cut of petrol stations or of the bars or whatever. And we like the idea of trying to flip that. And especially in the States, we go to a lot of smaller places and put on our own festivals and bring a big audience with us. And the idea of hosting guests, you know, and having a good relationship when you leave is a nice, is a nice feeling. So yeah, the idea that the uh, recognizing the local community and obviously being in London and with Grenfell coming up for second anniversary, and so many buildings in this country still having flammable cladding on them, still not having safe fire doors and sprinklers, and the community yeah. really having to campaign so hard to get governmental funding for that stuff and the change in social housing, particularly um, having to fight tooth and nail for it, is just yeah. feels like for two years now. Well it's, 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 it's disgusting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Even that, and they should take action to. Yeah, yeah well done highlighting well um we're going to leave now because you're going to go and get ready for this uh, wonderful you. performance that we're going to hear at the end of the show now all this week lucy worsley has been uh, sharing the life stories of queen victoria tonight we're going to see how happiness has turned to heartbreak <laughs> 